Hey guys, welcome to the latest episode of Z Code System here on YouTube. Drew speaking to you, and today we're going to talk about the latest games coming up in the Premier League, and specifically, actually, we're going to be talking about April 4th, that is Sunday, the games going on in the Premier League on match day 30. It's great to have you back here. It's been a while since I've been able to come to you. I've had some things going on, uh, but like I said, it's great to be back here on YouTube to talk to you about these games coming up in the Premier League as we get ready for the payload, the climax of the season, as we uh, near the end of the 2020-2021 season. A lot to still play out this season uh, in terms of the Premier League title race. Well, actually not so much in the title race as Manchester City have almost practically wrapped that up, but um, a lot to be played out in the uh, in the race for the Europa League and the Champions League spots, as well as the relegation and survival spots down at the bottom of the table. And of course, uh, if you are a fan of European football, European soccer, then you're obviously watching those uh, other leagues around Europe, as well as the Champions League, which goes into the quarterfinal stages this coming week in Europe. And you are probably also staying in tune with the FA Cup, which is going into the semifinal stage in just a few weeks' time. So a lot is going on, a lot to wager on for all of those soccer bettors out there. And this is a great time of the year uh, if you are a fan of the world's game. So today we're going to take a look at four games that are going to be played on Sunday, April the 4th, which is Easter, and uh, we're going to take a look at those, and we're going to use the Soccer Buddy tool on Z Code system to highlight those games uh, that are coming up. So uh, as you can see there, I've got the zcodesystem.com backslash blog open, and you can always go over there and check out everything that we post on the blog. Uh, as you can see, we've got some Major League Baseball picks there for April the 4th, so you can look at those, read through that, and um, also, of course, use our YouTube channel to find all kinds of great videos and content uh, to get those great picks for this weekend and going forward. So let's take a look at the Soccer Buddy tool here on Z Code System on YouTube, and we will take a look at those four games coming up on April the 4th. All right, guys, we've got those four big games going on this weekend, and these four games are great because they're going to have implications on all parts of the table. They're going to have implications on those teams who are chasing Champions League and Europa League spots as well as teams trying to fend off relegation uh, going forward in this season. And we're going to start with that Fulham versus Aston Villa game, which is coming up. And this is a big game for Fulham because Fulham are just two points back of Newcastle United in the race for Premier League survival. Fulham are 18th right now, and they have been pretty much in that position for much of the season. They've struggled at times. But since playing Aston Villa on or in September uh, 2020, they have really improved um, and uh, are collecting points. So I don't think we can really write off Fulham in this game. And one of those reasons is because Aston Villa have been missing their captain and best player, Jack Grealish, over the last six matches. And Grealish has run that team this season. He is the reason they have uh, performed so well. And at the beginning of the season, why they were uh, flirting with a, a top five position. Now they've obviously tailed off since then, but this is still a decent Aston Villa team who will have their eyes set on a victory over Fulham. Now, when they met earlier this season at Craven Cottage, Aston Villa did blast Fulham 3-0, and Jack Grealish got on the score sheet. Now, like I said, Grealish has been injured over the last six games. He's missed all six of those games, and only one of those six games ended in a victory for Aston Villa. So, if Grealish does not play this weekend, I am not confident of Aston Villa picking up a victory. Grealish um, as of right now, as I talked to you on Friday, uh, word has not come about that Grealish will definitively play. There is rumblings that he will play and he will start against Fulham. Um, but I think if he doesn't play or if he has to come off injured uh, in this game, I can see um, Aston Villa dropping points in this game and uh, Fulham doing really well in this game. Now, Fulham do not score a lot of goals. Uh, both, uh, both these teams have struggled to score goals over their last six games. Uh, Fulham scoring three goals over their last six games. Aston Villa scoring only three goals over their last six games. So um, I think if Grealish is in this team for Aston Villa, he will spark them to life and give them what they need to get this victory. Now, again, like I said, if he doesn't play, I think Fulham can get something out of this. So keep your eyes on uh, the team sheet for this game and uh, the injury list going into this game. Fulham don't really have any injuries to really concern themselves with. Um, but one player for Fulham that I, I want to highlight that you should watch out for, and that is Alexandra Mitrovic. Uh, Mitrovic has not had a great season for Fulham playing in the Premier League. I think he's only got two goals this season in 20-some appearances last time I checked. Uh, but he's coming off of the international break, 
uh, where he scored five goals in three games for Serbia in their World Cup qualifying matches. So keep your eyes on him because he could get a start this weekend and he could have the chance to uh, power this Fulham team to a win. Now we'll see if that does happen. So as you can see there, the, the Soccer Buddy uh, app has got Aston Villa to win 2-1. And to be honest, like I said, if Grealish plays, I think that's a pretty good scoreline right there. Okay, guys, now let's take a look at that Burnley versus Southampton game that's going to be going on there at St. Mary's in Southampton. Now, Southampton are not playing great right now. Um, they've lost four of their last five games. And this is a team that was doing so well earlier in the, in the Premier League season. And they've just pretty much capitulated since January. They've really fallen down the table. Um, they're in relegation form. They're only, I think it is seven points above the relegation zone, the same as Burnley. And this is a team that is just really struggling to get any kind of points whatsoever. They are, however, in the FA Cup semifinals. They're going to have Leicester City in the FA Cup semifinals. So there is some hope for Southampton that, you know, that this season could end in a magical way with the trophy. Uh, obviously, there are going to be some very difficult teams that they have to beat uh, in those last two games if they want to uh, lift the FA Cup for the first time in uh, God knows how long. Um, but they're taking on a Burnley team who are also fighting relegation right now, who are um, struggling uh, seven points above the relegation zone as we go into this weekend, uh, same as Southampton. And a team that, um, uh, though struggling, they are unbeaten in their last three games, uh, two draws, one win. So they are doing well enough to collect points. Uh, thing is, though, I do like Southampton in this game, and the Soccer Buddy app does as well. Um, we've got a 2-1 scoreline right there uh, on the Soccer Buddy app. And like I said, I do like Southampton for this to win. They picked up a win earlier this season at Turf Moor against Burnley 1-0. And uh, I think that we could see them pick up a second win. Now, one of the, the key elements to this uh, could be the returns of Southampton players Danny Ings and Theo Walcott. Uh, they have contributed to 15 of Southampton's 36 goals this year. And if they are both back from injury and able to play in this game, I think that could be the real turning point for Southampton. So I like Southampton to win this game at home and to start to inch their way above or uh, further away from the relegation zone. Now let's take a look at a, another big game here going on on Sunday, and that is Tottenham Hotspur taking on Newcastle United. Now Tottenham Hotspur are in the chase for the Europa League qualification spots. They are six. Um, they're just behind New, uh, sorry, they're just behind West Ham uh, in the race for that fifth qualification or that fifth spot in the league and that Europa League qualification spot. Um, Jose Mourinho's team are recently out of the Europa League. They were dumped out by Dinamo Zagreb in a shock uh, game in the last 16 of that competition, and really they've got a lot to prove still. Uh, they will be playing at the end of April in the. Carabao Cup final. They'll be taking on Manchester City in that game, which if they're able to win that, then I think that really justifies Jose Mourinho being the coach of the team uh, this season and uh, you know taking over last season. But if they fail to win that and they merely get a Europa League qualification spot, um, I think there's a lot of, uh, of questions that he, he needs to answer for. Um, this is a team that's stacked with talent. They've spent money and they still underperform. Uh, they spurs things up, if you will. And uh, they're taking on this Newcastle United team who are just two points above the relegation zone uh, and two points above Fulham. Now, they will play technically before Fulham play Aston Villa. So depending on the result of this game, if Newcastle United were able to get a point or, or a shock win, they would put a lot of pressure on Fulham to get a win or a draw against Aston Villa. Now, I don't think Newcastle United are going to get a a win or a draw in this game. Yes, they drew 1-1 with Tottenham Hotspur earlier this season, uh, thanks to a controversial 90th minute penalty that was given to them, uh, and Callum Wilson scored that. Now, Wilson is not expected to play. He's injured, and he is such a key player for Newcastle United. They are struggling to score goals um, with him on the sideline. So I don't see Newcastle United getting, getting a win. I don't see them getting a draw. I don't see them getting a goal if Wilson is not on the pitch. Um, I'm going to disagree with that 2-1 scoreline that we see right there on the screen. I don't think Newcastle United are going to score in this game if Kellen Wilson does not play. I think Tottenham Hotspur will win this game to nil and will strengthen their case to finish in the top five, potentially in the top four, but they've got a lot of ground to make up with those teams. So 
Um, I'm backing Spurs in this game to win this game and to not concede a goal, just as they did not do in their last Premier League game against Aston Villa, which they won 2-0. That could be a similar scoreline that we see here. And you know what? If I'm going to back a goal scorer in this game, I'm going to back Harry Kane because he's having a fantastic season in front of goal. Rumors persist, or rumors have started again, actually, that he could join one of the Manchester clubs at the end of the season if Spurs miss out on the Champions League. But, of course, we hear those rumors every year here in the UK. So, um, you know, I'm going to back Harry Kane, though, to get a goal here. Now, let's look at that final game uh, today, or the final game on Sunday, that is, on the 4th. And that is Brighton visiting Manchester United at Old Trafford. Uh, Manchester United had no issue defeating Brighton in the reverse fixture this earlier this year at the Amex Stadium. 3-0, it was a victory there for Manchester United. They took a little bit of time to get going in that game, but in the end, it wasn't a big, uh, a big deal. Uh, they eased to victory, and to be honest, I don't see this be much of a problem. Now, Brighton have improved. Yes, okay, they have improved. They're still not a great goal-scoring side. Um, they still are a, a bit deceiving, in my opinion, about just how good they are. Um, and I think Manchester United will have very little issue going uh, going through with a win here and, and defeating them. And I actually think that they're going to score more goals than one. As we say, the Soccer Buddy, the soccer buddy app um, is giving us a 1-0 scoreline. I actually think that they're going to get at least two or three goals here, um, similar to what they did in the last game that they played against Brighton this season. Manchester United have won five straight games in all competitions against Brighton, and I don't see that uh, good run of form coming to an end just yet. And uh, we'll see Manchester United pick up a win against Brighton and get some goals. And I guess if I'm going to pick a uh, potential goal scorer for Manchester United this weekend, I'm going to be picking Bruno Fernandes. Uh, Bruno Fernandes is their um, do-everything midfielder. He, he really, where would this team be without him? Um, I don't think they would be in the top four without Bruno Fernandes in this team. He scores goals, he creates goals, he scores free kicks, he scores goals from open plays, and he takes a lot of penalties. Um, and that's why I want to back him, because um, if Manchester United get a penalty, which they get a lot of them, he's going to be stepping up to take that shot, that penalty shot, and um, will more times than not convert it. Um, so I'm backing Manchester United to win this game, and I'm going to back them to win by more than one goal there. Uh, possibly two or three goals. So guys, those are our picks this weekend here on Z Code System. Obviously, go over to the blog, check out the blog, read up on all the things that I've written there in this week's Premier League Picks blog. And you can also check out those Major League Baseball picks for April the 4th as well, if baseball is your thing. And of course, we will be back next week with more picks uh, for the Premier League and for all of the other great sports going on around the world. And of course, just sign up to Z Code System and you can get uh, get all of these great tools at your fingertips every week when you are ready to make your wagers. So guys, thanks for watching here on YouTube. Smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date on everything we post here on Z Code System and you won't be left in the dark and miss out on a great bet. So guys, have, uh, have a great weekend, uh, have a great Easter, and uh, we will see you soon here on Z Code System.